Hi everyone, I'm here today to talk to you about an extremely underrated but relevant topic in both the world as well as the wine community, and that is female winemakers. Hashtag boss bitches. It is 2020, in case that's um, news to anyone, and only about 10% of winemakers in California are female. So let's get woke, please, because they're actually making some of the best shit out there. No matter where you are in the world, wine made by a woman tends to be balanced, elegant, and complex yet pure, just like me. First up on the docket is Flowers Winery out of the Sonoma Coast. They're known for their Pinot Noir and Chardonnay and are lucky enough to have Chantal Forthen as their leading winemaker. So Flowers' main focus is the earth and treating it correctly, so they use a combination of biodynamic and organic farming and then follow up with minimal intervention in the cellar, allowing for a true expression of terroir. They actually have two of the closest plots to the ocean, which gives them a really, really unique flavor profile. All right, next up is iconic Rutherford producer Quintessa. Their lead winemaker is Rebecca Weinberg, and if she wasn't born to make great wine with that last name, I don't know who was. Having worked in Italy, New Zealand, Oregon, and California has definitely given Rebecca a global perspective when it comes to her winemaking. The key elements she uses to describe her wines are elegance, harmony, and layers, and I could not agree more. Last, but certainly not least, is Sarah Quitter of Ferrari Corona Winery. Sarah, intro. Hi. <laughs> It is her goal to make complex, intense, seamless, and delicious wines that reflect the diversity of their vineyards while being balanced in richness and delicacy. So join me in raising your glass and drink wine by women. Cheers.